Hi, this is Louise from Timekeeper Crafts. I'm here to show you a journal I made for a friend of mine. I'm actually in a hotel room in Orlando right now. Just about ready to go deliver this tomorrow morning, so I thought I should videotape it. Anyways, it's one that I made with a, I guess it's a table runner or doily, and some embroidery that I took from a vintage piece of fabric I had. I added some buttons to it. And Another piece of lace around the edges. It's tied with seam binding, but I've left it open so I can do this one-handed. Sorry for the shakiness. So on the inside, she's one of my friends from quite a few years ago, so I tried to include a lot of stuff that mentioned friends. And gardens, she loves gardening. And this is my typical letter that I would include explaining what a junk journal is. I made a tag. There's one here with. I tried to stick to the purple as much as possible. Bingo card that I made. Some piece of fabric and some lace. And there's a fancy paper doily back here. This is some paper that I designed. And again, friendship. A little saying about friendship and one of those little paper clips with the little heart. This is pretty hard to do standing up without a tripod. Um, so I included this one of those paper clips that has two sides on it. And again, the spirit of friendship. I had a piece of doily. Or not doily. Yeah, lace. And some bling on there. A little calendar that she can record everybody's date of birth. The Project Life cards. Tuck spot here. Belly band there. This I made with some book pages. Piece of fabric that lifts up. And again, some bling on the side. Piece of, and I covered it with a, a piece of this very fine textured paper. And this is from a adding machine roll. It's actually... I made it look like a little envelope end on it, but it unrolls and unravels and unravels, and she'll, she can write a lot of stuff on it, and then keep it hidden away. Some music sheets, some lace, poems that I found in a vintage book again, some wallpaper, and some stickers, another one of those paper clips, a vellum little pocket and I put some writing paper in there for her to use. And that's the other side of the paper clip. Some information about flowers. Like I said, she's really into gardening and flowers, so I think she'll appreciate those little hints and information about flowers. Some tracing paper. And these are, are vintage from I'm not sure if the date is on these ones. But I got these on Magdalen Islands. It's a beautiful little area. I was lucky enough to visit a thrift shop down there. And this is I'm not too sure which where I got that. Probably Graphics Ferry. And these are slides. I I purchased like over two thousand slides this summer. And they have pictures, but a lot of them are really, really faint. So I've just decided to back them with a couple of layers of paper. And I don't know if you can see that close enough. I'm not going to focus. I'm not in the best of conditions. But anyways, it says live life. Back, back out again. Anyway, so I added some lace and a little flower and a little bit of bling on there. In the middle section is 
a book page or a section of a book page again about gardening and these are just uh, thank you cards I guess or blank cards about irises so I thought that would be nice for her to be able to journal in I made one of those paper clips and it's attached to one of those boho dangles I'm not sure what they call them with some beads and some fun eyelash trim line paper, tracing paper, the other side. And this is all paper I dyed with uh, purple to purple ink. And again, there's more pages from some books that I found. And along with those 2,000 slides, there was a whole bunch of negative strips. So I just included one of those in here and added a piece of writing paper for it. Tucks away in this pocket in one of my little clusters with the fabric and the buttons and this is again another piece of wallpaper so it's got a really nice texture to it another page from the book another thing from the graphic fairy and this is fabric that I covered with lace and sewed it onto the edge of the vintage music paper now her son is plays the organ for churches and ceremonies and whatever and so I'm sure she'll appreciate the music the sheet music and this is just a piece of designer paper. And this again that same nice ribbon. It's got a really nice texture to it. And this is from a book. It's a, a Canadian book written by children. There's 219 stories in the book and it's they all start with isn't it funny and it's a child who writes the isn't it funny. So this one's from a 13 year old and there's another one on the inside. And so I thought that would add a little bit of humor. And this is, I think this was Artie Mae's kit that I made these little purple ones. And I added some bling and a piece of, I can't remember what the name of it is now. Anyways, you know what it is, that fabric. And this was from a Ideal magazine. So I made a little pocket with it and put another card that I got from the uh, Magdalene Islands, and this is the paper that I made out of uh, shaving cream inking. Another page from that book. And this paper, if you, I don't know if you can see, but there's a very light, light imprint of a flower in there. And that's just a sticker and a tab. And there's positive reinforcements and there's the other side of that really nice paper doily and this one my granddaughter helped me design she chose what went onto this pocket so she helped me make it by the way she's four years old so she really wanted that big purple button on here along with the purple flowers and the eyelash trim and a piece of ribbon and there's a green ribbon underneath I think she did a pretty good job a page from that book with some fancy lace on the side and this I just sewed a piece of uh, silk ribbon to the side another piece of fabric but this one this got stuck down so I just turned it into a little pocket that she can slide this little file folder in and this is from an old encyclopedia and I added a bee charm on there and this was I think it's graphic fairy it's a calendar from nine, 1895 I think it is I guess I thought it was cute her name is Violetta by the way so this is Violet's close enough and another one of those uh, slides and this one here I have the image of a woman in the back and it says friends with a little tiny cluster of fabric and button and this is the glass room bag, so she can add some more stuff in there. That's one of the pages from a collection. Another one of those double-sided clips. Beautiful image of purple flowers. And I just added a button and a piece of lace. And then this thing is one of my 
favorite sayings that I've encountered recently. Every single thing that has ever happened in your life is preparing you for a moment that is yet to come. This is another piece of wallpaper. And I made a pocket here with another cluster and a tag. Another piece of the, uh, the encyclopedia. And I made another little bobble here. From one of the flower books and this is a little pocket as well and I added a butterfly and this is one of those I won't remember what that's called now it's not index cards and this one here I just made a little cluster on top of the one of those really large playing cards and I've made it so that she can journal on the back of it attached it to a Chopin piece of sheet music and this is just a library card another image that I got online from the, one of the books and another book that I found and this one I think was on motherhood but it included a lot of religious quotes and she is a religious person so I'm sure she'll appreciate those as well. It's another book about flowers. And this is a vintage card that I found. Another cluster up here. And this is a pocket that is being held in there with a paper clip. And there's a tag in there as well. And I just, uh, I guess the shadows are pretty bad in here too. And then I found, I have this old Nova Scotia cookbook, and so I thought I'd give her a few recipes. Like the cure for cure a, a sting from a bee or a wasp. And uh, this was from the turn of the century how to cure rheumatism and whooping cough. And, and then there's actual recipes of different pickles. And, and this is one of our favorites, sucre à la crème. It's, um, it's fudge, I guess you guys, English people would call it. But these are all things I grew up with. This, this one over here and this one. We used to make that every year. And this one as well, the last fudge. Anyways, so I wanted to give her a little piece of Nova Scotia. Um, this is just a little tag that I made. Another one of those paper clips. Give me the, give me the. And this is just a pocket. That's got one of those things that you can hide something inside. And it's got a little decoration for Marty Mays. And that's the back of the card. So I just covered up because it was like a birthday card or something. So that's the vintage card. Another flower book. Another thought. A quote. And again, another bingo card. And this is uh, this is hard to do with just one hand. Let's see if I can get the paper clip off. Okay, so this is to design a garden. She's got a beautiful yard, so she could actually design something this nice. So I thought I'd leave that in there for her. Another music sheet. Transparency. Or Tracing paper from the book. I, I absolutely love this ribbon. I think it's one of the nicest ribbons I've ever owned. And this is a painting by Monet. It's a reproduction, of course, a, a print from a book. And there's the name of the book itself, or the, the image tag snuck in there. And this is just on the side of the that beautiful purple image, but I just covered it up with a white piece of paper so she can journal and added some decorations to it. Oops, sorry, there's another one there. Another page from the encyclopedia, and there. This is, um, I guess they're synopsis of different books. The other side to that glass scene bag. And this is cards that I have that are shaped like scallops, scallop circles, so I just turned it into a secret little writing spot along with the tuck spot behind there. Another pocket. 
piece of ribbon again. Tracing paper. One of those folded out envelopes with some paper that I dyed. From that book, Friendship again. That's the last page. And then I also made her a little clipboard to put in between when she's trying to write on it. She can just attach it to the page and I made her a little pen. And I have this little pocket here. I sewed this little pocket on so that this could all go in it. Now, there you go. And the back of the book is just like this. Anyways, I thought I'd share this before I deliver it tomorrow to her. We haven't seen each other in two years, so it's going to be nice to visit with her. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.